Energy Secretary Dan Buryat is with us now. Mr. Secretary, you've got a smile on your face because the price of oil is going up as the economy reopens. I never thought I'd interview an Energy Secretary who was pleased to see the price of oil go straight up, but you are. Mm. Hey, thank you, Stuart. Great to be with you. I have a smile on my face because we're beginning a transition to greatness, as the president said this morning. That's what's really uh, exciting about this particular economy. You know, what we're seeing in the markets today are stability, and that's what's important for these energy companies to survive this pandemic and to uh, explode uh, with, with economic activity on the other side of this pandemic. So that's why I'm smiling today, Stuart. Um, we are go it's not just the Saudis cutting production in June. Right. It's also our economy beginning to come back. I mean, one of the themes on our show for a long time has been opening up. Business is doing quite well when it opens up. I, I, forgive me, but I think the, the demand for gasoline is going up sharply, if I'm not mistaken. Sure, it's climbing up, but, you know, we're enjoying really low prices, as your previous guest just uh, just uh, reported on. You know, we saw some numbers today from the Labor Department. Uh, the consumer price index down roughly 0.8 percent. Yeah. But importantly, gas prices are down 20 percent from the prior month. So as the president has pointed out, that's a tremendous tax cut for American consumers. And as we begin this transition, as we begin to reopen this economy, that's going to be a boon for consumers all across the country. In North Dakota, they're going to close their largest power plant, and I believe it's a fossil fuel power plant. They're going to use wind instead. Is this, do you see that as the future of energy in America? No, I think the future of energy in America is going to continue to be a diversity of supply. We need all forms of energy, wind energy, solar energy. They're important components in the delivery of electricity all throughout the country. But it's important that we maintain a, a diversity of supply. So we're going to need natural gas. We're going to need nuclear energy as well. That's what, that's what gives us the low prices. It's the competition in the marketplace. It's the choice that consumers have for the provision of their energy. That's what forces prices down. Where do you see coal in this equation? I think there's still a bright future for coal. We've seen a transition away from coal for the production of electricity in the United States and certain parts of the world. But there are other parts of the world where coal is a, a critical component uh, to their electricity generation. So there's still growth markets in Asia. There are growth markets in Africa. Importantly as well, there's an important role for coal to play in the provision of critical minerals for the development of battery technologies as we go oh. forward. When all this is done, when we emerge on the other side of the virus, will we still, in America, be the energy giants of the world, dominant in energy globally? There's no question about that, Stuart. There's absolutely no question about it. Uh, the United States energy industry is strong. It will remain strong. It remains strong for a number of different reasons. We're blessed with enormous resources here in America, but more importantly, we're blessed with innovators in our industry, and they will continue to lead as they have done for the past three, four, five decades, perhaps even longer. You just got to get the economy open as soon as you can. Uh, Dan Briette, Energy Secretary, always a pleasure, and thanks for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. Very Thank much. you, Stuart.